I just have to share some of my potentially prophetic thoughts about the directions of our parties as we move forward as a country. And uh, I, I can't help but be grateful that both parties, Republican and Democrat, are going through this this revolution of like, hey, fight the establishment, man. Like, these guys that have been in Congress for God knows how long in the executive branch are just useless. And we're both going at it. We're both pushing that agenda. Like, get them out of there. Get fresh ideas in. Let's make it happen. Let's get some cojones back. So I appreciate the fact that that's happening. What's concerning me is the direction each party is going. And for the Republican side, like, you know, we, we did it with Trump. Against all odds, we did it with Trump. And, it, you know, it, it, it totally flipped the table on the Republican establishment. And as Michael Moore somehow prophetically predicted... It was the biggest F you to the establishment politicians that, um, you know, working Americans could have done, which by all means, that's, that was the way to go. And I love Trump and I love everything he's doing. My concern on the Republican side is that we're gravitating towards, as we redefine ourselves during this revolution, and we're bringing in droves of people from whatever walk of life that are coming in from, you know, Gen Z and uh, the millennials and the walk away movement and the red pill movement. Like people are coming in in droves because the Republican Party, by necessity, had to redefine itself. And it's redefining itself continuously as kind of like in the bed with libertarianism which i love economic libertarianism i love it i love laissez-faire economics i love capitalism as much as you would decry capitalism name any other country in the history of the earth that had as successful continuously an economy as we do, as sustainable an economy as we do. Name it. But that's neither here nor there. So I, I, I fully endorse the libertarian identity that the Republican Party is creating, or, or assuming, I should say. The thing I can't stomach is the, all the garbage that goes along with it. And by garbage, I mean things I don't agree with. Um, the the social aspects of libertarianism, the the cultural aspects of libertarianism, the things that you know believers, conservative believers, would not want to you know handcuff themselves to. I wouldn't. I I can't stomach the the. Uh, legalization of drugs or prostitution or any of that stuff. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. And that's that's what I fear about the direction the Republican Party is going. Again, I appreciate that it's happening, but now I look at the Democrat side and I say, man, you guys are undergoing your own revolution. Kudos to you. Like, nominating... Uh, uh, what's her name? Cortez, uh, Ocasio Cortez in New York against that incumbent New York politician there, and she's a socialist Democrat, and the whole Bernie Sanders movement. Even like, I appreciate the fact that Bernie Sanders was, you know, he genuinely wanted uh, this thing that I totally disagreed with, but hey. He was, he was really passionate about it. And that's what we've lacked in politicians recently. So, I, again, I'd never vote for Bernie. But, you know, the guy's got gumption. I disagree with him on everything. But, you know, 
the fact that that's happening is a good thing. What concerns me is the direction that the party is taking now is that as the Democrats are struggling to re-identify themselves, which I don't think they're going to do in time for the midterms, which is a good thing for us. Um, but when they finally get through this and they re-identify themselves, I think the Democrat Party is going to look, well, they're calling it progressivism, which is basically socialism, because their, their main ticket is going to be um, economic socialism and economic socialist policies. So that's what worries me. And my overall, the summary of my worry here is that what we once saw as, you know, Democrat versus Republican ends up being in, by proxy, socialism versus libertarianism. Neither are good in their absolutes. But, you know, if I had to throw my chips in, I'd throw my chips in with libertarianism any day. Again, but I, I can't stomach all of it. So, I don't know. I, I think there might be an opportunity here for the church to step in. Like, not, you know, officially come marching in, but the believers, the believers, the, the ones that are spreading the kingdom, the esters that are coming in, like, I feel like the church could kind of own this. Like, we could step in on both sides and and we could we could lead this like we could lead this from the front i don't know tell me what you think